So just two more semi-finals to come. Women's doubles is up next, and then the last of our semi-finals this afternoon will be men's singles. A repeat of the final from the last two Super Series events in that men's singles. Well, let's enjoy the women's doubles now with the current world champions and world number ones, Wang Xiaoli and Yu Yang from China, up against Mizuki Fuji and Doraika Kakiwa of Japan. Well, this women's doubles, the winners of this semi-final, know that they'll have to play against the number two seeds, Tian Ching and Zhao Yunlei in tomorrow's final, because we know that they're safely through to tomorrow's final by virtue of being given a walkover against the Korean pair of Ha jong Un and Kim Min jung Koreans not contesting that semi-final. So here come the world champions, the world number ones, led out by Wang Xiao Li, and there's Yu Yang, the Olympic champion. Yu Yang, of course, won the gold medal in Beijing, playing with Du Jing. And after the world championship final last year, won by Yu Yang and Du Jing. They split, as did the silver medalists, who were Wang Xiao Li and Ma Jin. And opponents in the World Championship final here in this very stadium, the Pierre de Coubertin Stadium here in Paris, then teamed up together. Oh my goodness, what a partnership they formed. Since forming their partnership, 14 individual tournaments, 13 finals, 10 titles. The only time they didn't reach the final was the China Open in the first round of the China Open last year. They had to Matar in their opening match because Wang Xiaoli got injured. So there's Mizuki Fuji, 23 years of age, and her partner, 22 year old Reika Kakiwa. This Japanese pair. First full year on tour was 2009. Last year, they won the Osaka International. A couple of finals as well, most notably the Korean Super Series event. That was their first big title. They also reached the final at the Dutch Grand Prix. But really caused a sensation. Fuji and Kakiwa at this year's All England Championships, unseeded. But they went all the way through to the final. Also lost in the final of the India Super Series event. So trying to make it through to their third Super Series final of the year. Having won the German Open in March. Well, they've won all of their three previous matches in two straight games. Japanese combination. As indeed have the Chinese pair. Looks to me as if the umpire is calling for the tournament referee Want to change the speed of the shuttles. Well, it has warmed up in this. Could you get both pairs to test the shuttle? I think they are too fast, the Japanese girls. Yeah, well, that was quite clear. I hope the you Japanese hear we that, uh, the umpire. From the Chinese yet. Jakob Simberg of Denmark saying that the Japanese pair think that the shuttles are too quick. So we're looking at Wang Xiaoli on the left as we look at them and Yu Yang on the right. Yu Yang, 25 years of age, born in Hanchen, in Liaoning province. And Wang Xiaoli from Hubei province. Wang Xiaoli, just 23. For the Chinese pair, this is their first appearance as a pair. But both of them have won this French Open title previously, but with different partners. Wang Xiaoli won the French Open in 2009, playing with Margin. Yu Yang has actually won four titles here two women's doubles and two mixed doubles. Women's doubles in 2004 and 2008. Incidentally, in 2004, it was just a Grand Prix event. It wasn't 
the Super Series until 2007, but she won both those titles with Du Jing. And two mixed doubles titles, 2004 with Xie Zhongbo, and then 2008 with her and Bin. So Yu Yang has actually been in three finals here at the French Open because she was beaten finalist in 2007 when she was playing with Zhao Tingting. And trying to make it through to her sixth French Open final. Oh. Deputy referee won't like the way she tested that shuttle. You're supposed to stand with the shuttle that would drop over that back line. Well, okay, Wang Xiaoli and Yu Yang in their first round match beat former world number ones Chin Yi Gui and Wang Pei Ti of Malaysia. Came from 14 19 mm -hmm. down in their opening game, saved three game points before winning 24 22, 21 8 in the second game. My goodness, they were dominant in that second. They beat Maranello and Michels of Germany in the second round and beat Marissa and Nadia Melati of Indonesia yesterday and if you were with us yesterday you would have seen that match and they looked very impressive indeed just 24 minutes to beat the Indonesians 21-9, 21-7 so the Japanese pair number three seeds Mizuki Fuji and Reika Kakiwa Misugi Fuji, Raiga Kakiwa, Japan. Yeah, there they are in the blue and, on my left, and Bang red. Xiaoli, Yu Yang, China. Yu Yang to serve to Misugi Fuji. Love all, play. So the women's doubles semi final gets underway. Third meeting between these two pairs. Previous two occasions. Chinese pair and won both of them, including that all England final I was talking about. One love. I don't think I've ever seen such dominance in an all England final before. Wang Xiao Li and Yu Yang won 21 2, 21 9 in just 27 minutes. Absolutely superb. I think perhaps the Japanese pair a little overwhelmed by the occasion as well. One all. Good return. Two, one. Out. No, so it's short. Two, all. Idea from Two. Mizuki Fuji. Saw that Wang Xiao Li was looking for the straight block. Played across court. It was the right idea, wrong execution. Great anticipation. Six, 
five straight points. One, two down to six, two up. Six Seven, straight points. Two. Just wide. Eight, two. Only really missed by a whisker. Nine, two. All right, straight points now. Less than three minutes of play. Ace two. on the flick serve. Eleven. Two. Oh, this is extraordinary. Ten straight points. We've now had three minutes of play. and I were talking last week during the Denmark Open about how this Chinese women's doubles pair is going to take women's doubles to a whole new level. I think the first half of that opening game is a good demonstration of why we believe that. Cord one, 20 seconds. Cord one, 20 seconds. Well, having lost to Chinese pair so drastically previously, I wonder whether the Japanese pair actually you. have real belief here. You. Eleven, two. Play. Stop. Pushed it long. Seven is over. Three, eleven. Yeah, that's Seven a over. waste, Kakiwa. Twelve, three. Way short with that low serve. Service yeah. over. Four, twelve. Sheer power getting through in the end. 13, One of four. the hardest smashes in the women's game is Wang Xiaoli. You see, she's got both her knees heavily strapped. Always does. Japanese pair just 14, don't look as if four. they have real belief here. Six minutes. And that includes a minute timeout. Service over.
Oh, she's really struggling with her serve, is Reika Kakiwa. Yeah, that will help give them a little bit of confidence. They almost got in each other's way. Service over. 16 7. Just wide. 17 7. But interesting that she was trying to take the defensive shot early, Kakiwa, and move forward. Within the partnership, 18, seven. one's pushed to the back, the other moves round to cover. You see Wang Xiao Li, when her partner was pulled out wide to her forehand side, came forward immediately. It up ready, so she's hitting the third shot in a downward direction. Oh. Wow, Eight, <laughs> made the 19. error, but my goodness, there's a huge gap. That was, I've just left the chuck, the Japanese pair absolutely stranded, They're nowhere near it. Yet another Sensor error up. on 20, the Kakiwa serve. Point, 12 game points now to the world champions. Game. First time of asking. And just 11 minutes to First close game, out that Mumbai, opening game. 21-8. Taken that opening game against the world number three ranked pair. Just shows what a gulf there is between the world champions. Well, the only pair that they've lost to when they've completed the match is their teammates. The pair that awaits the winners of this semi-final in tomorrow's final, Tian Ching and Zhao Yunlei, because it was Tian Ching and Zhao Yunlei that beat the, the Wang Xiaoli and Yu Yang. 
in the final of the Malaysian Super Series event this year and also, of course, in the Asian Games final in December last year. Second game, love all, play. So, having stormed through that opening game, 21-8 in just 11 minutes. Seven over, one, love. Charlie is there. Well, they will be wanting to keep the intensity going. I throw that error on the low serve from Yu Yang. Seven over, one, all. It looks so simple. Two, Power play. One. Smash across the body from Wang Xiao Li. Towards Fuji's right hip. Sets up her partner to put it away. Two, three. Well, I do think that the Chinese pair, if there is a weakness, and it really isn't that much of a weakness, but perhaps a slight frailty is when they have Yu Yang at the back of the court. formation is for Yu Yang to go forward, dominate the front and use the power of the Wang Xiao Li smash from the back. Done. Could change the pace from Kakiwa. Four, three. And you're slightly flat footed there, Yu Yang. little spell here from the Japanese pair. Four straight points. Ah! How on earth did they dig themselves out of trouble there? Kakiwa and Fuji. Mm, Lapse in concentration here by the world champions. Ah! Mm. Seven, three. Six straight points. to this second game and all of a sudden there's Wait. real belief being shown from Mizuki Fuji and Reika Kakiwa Oh. 
Well, I said that it's a weaker formation to have Yu Yang at the back of the court. And so it proved in that rally. Not doing enough with her attacking play. Eight straight points to the Japanese pair. And one three down. Yeah, finally the run comes to an end, but nine straight points. Ooh, Fuji and Kakiwa put a very, very different complexion on this second game in comparison to the first. Seven, ten. Mm, clawing their way back. Play. And so, you know, just have the most remarkable record. Each the final in every single tournament they've played since they fought in their partnership apart from one. And one CL Lee was injured in the first round. But I wonder, as the Japanese go to the mid-game interval with a four-point advantage, I just wonder, do they have the inner belief and the capability that they can break this remarkable run? And Wang Xiaomi and Yang, Yan, this Chinese pair, the only badminton players ever to have won all the premier Super Series events. Four of them so far. Korean, All England, Indonesian, and one, Denmark Open. The last of the five Cold premiers one, is the China Open. Seconds. Premier Super Series came into existence this year. Yes. What a wonderful thing 11, it's turned out to be. Play. This is the test of the inner belief.
Yeah, good work. And a big smile from Mizuki Fuji. Bounced off the top of the tape, but went over. And they look like a completely different pair here in the second game. Fuji and Kakiwa, aggressive, hunting the shuttle. Oh, but that's delightful from Wang Lee. 14. Uh, it was clever from Yu Yang. No pace on the shuttle. Racket arm outstretched. Here. Yeah. Gets the neck cord. But she created her own luck because she took the shuttle so early. Another net cord, three net cords in three rallies. Well, Fuji and Kakiwa have never taken a game off their opponents prior to this match. They haven't done it yet, but they're looking good at the moment. just taking their time because of the noise of the crowd and the public address and announcing players onto the adjoining court. So well played. Good rally. Both pairs playing well. 13, 15. Yes. You. Oh, the court needing to be mopped both ends. Court attendance out. His pair, three career titles, but never a super series. 13, 15. Compare that to the Chinese. Three titles last year, seven already this year. They've only been playing together for a year. 14, 15. Well, had a seven-point advantage at one stage, did the Japanese pair in this second game. Ten three up, remember. And the champions have whittled away that advantage. Just one point in it. 
And now back level. 15 on. Mm, forced to defend. The Japanese peg got their success in this second game by attacking. Mm, that's push wide. 16. 15. A run of six straight points from 10-15 down. Now 16-15 up, the world champions. It is another chance for Fuji and Kakiwa. They can get a good serve and really hunt the third shot. They can get themselves back on the attack. Aggressive on the defensive play from Mareika Kakiwa. 17. Drives this one across court. Flat out of the reach of Yu Yang. He's mm, ebbing and flowing now. Play. Changing hands once again. Got all tangled up in her defence, Kakiwa. Great atmosphere in this Pierre de Coubertin Stadium. her work. Uh, but in the end, when Wang Xia Li got to her favoured position at the back of the court, thunders down the winning smash. It's a bit fluffed up to me. The players seem to be happy with it. Play. Well, nicely done. Really beginning to be positive on her defensive play. Raika Kakiwa. 18 or. You. 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 No. Jakob Simberg, the young No more. Okay, play on. No more. Cats. Well, that was quite clear. No more taking your time. You've got to play on a little quicker. Good rally. And once again, it's all level. Oh, 
Well, it's all going to come down to who's going to have the courage and the nerve to take their chances. Oh. What a smash from Wang Xiao Li. Not deceived by the flick at all. Good placement, good power. And now it's match point to the world champions. and is a clear two-point winning margin. <laughs> oh, relentless attack from the world champions. Wonderful rally. And now a second match point opportunity. It's gone wide. This time they convert. And having to come from behind in that second game. Seven points adrift at one stage at 3.10, six points adrift at 8.14. But in the end, came good to take the second game 22-20. Umpire confirming the score, and there's confirmation of it. 21-8, 22-20 in 35 minutes of play. This is the final rally. Well, they really lost their concentration when they lost nine consecutive points. The Chinese world champions, but they got themselves back together again just in the nick of time. Autographs in a happy venue for Yu Yang. Now through to her sixth final here at the French Open. Women's doubles final. Oh, uh, C'est magnifique, c'est bien fait. Euh, 